everyone. My name is McCade Marshall with MLM Publishing and this is Word of the Week. Word of the Week is a short video we shoot every single week for my readers and viewers from all over the world. So thank you for tuning in today. At the end of this message, if you enjoyed this video, I encourage you to share it with your family, friends, loved ones, and coworkers. And you can do that by copying the link to this video and pasting it into your email and also onto Facebook, Twitter, and all your favorite social media sites. So make sure to share the good news at the end of this message. Also, I have a YouTube channel at youtube.com that you can subscribe to for all our latest videos, and the channel is just my name, McCabe Marshall. You can also subscribe to receive Word of the Week every Sunday evening in your email inbox by going to mccademarshall.com clicking on that Word of the Week tab on the left, filling out the form there, and we would be more than happy to add you to our emailing list. So make sure to check all that out at the end of this message. All right, well, the Word of the Week for this week is Overcoming Betrayal. In the final hours leading up to Jesus' crucifixion, things got really ugly. Jesus had spent over three years ministering and testifying to the truth of God. He revealed to all of Israel and the entire world who he was, which is the Son of God. His appearance to mankind was predetermined before time ever began. The way Jesus was handed over to his enemies was through the betrayal of one of his original twelve disciples, one who had been with Jesus from the beginning of his public ministry. The scriptures tell us that Jesus already knew who the traitor was when he was picking his twelve disciples. John 6, first, verses 70 through 71 says, Then Jesus replied, Have I not chosen you, the twelve, yet one of you is a devil? He meant Judas, the son of Simon Iscariot, who through one of the twelve was later to betray him. One reason I believe God had his son Jesus choose one of the disciples, knowing that disciple would one day betray him, is because God knew many of us would one day go through betrayal in life as well. The life of Christ was not an easy one. He suffered at the hands of sinners. Hebrews 4 verses 15 through 16 tells us, For we do not have a high priest who is unable to empathize with our weaknesses, but we have one who has been tempted in every way just as we are, yet he did not sin. Let us then approach God's throne of grace with confidence, so that we may receive mercy and find grace to help us in our time of need. The reason Jesus went through betrayal is so he would be able to empathize with us as our eternal high priest. Jesus endured tremendous suffering as the Lamb of God. When Judas betrayed Jesus, Jesus went to the cross. Judas afterwards had great remorse and hung himself. While the result of betrayal for Jesus was death on the cross, the result for Judas who betrayed him was suicide. Jesus rose from the grave on the third day. Judas remains accursed to this day. Betrayal is a horrible thing to go through. If you have ever been betrayed by a close friend, a co-worker, a family member, or even a spouse, the sting is painful and sometimes even emotionally unbearable. The result of betrayal is a wound to the soul that must be healed. Whenever you go through betrayal, the first thing you must do is forgive the one who betrayed you. This does not mean you ever have to trust the person again. What it does mean is you must let the person off the hook. Forgive from the heart. If you don't forgive the one who betrayed you, the betrayal will become your curse too. How many people have you met that went through a divorce and the divorce left them bitter and angry? The soul wounds of the past have never healed. The enemy will use unforgiveness and bitterness to hinder you from fulfilling your destiny. Jesus gives us an ultimatum when it comes to forgiveness. For the believer, forgiveness is not optional. It's mandatory. He tells his disciples in Matthew 6, verses 14 through 15, 
For if you forgive other people when they sin against you, your heavenly Father will also forgive you. But if you do not forgive others their sins, your Father will not forgive your sins. I don't know about you, but I don't want to be unforgiven in the eyes of God. Jesus tells us that if we refuse to forgive others, then God refuses to forgive us. This is a strong statement about the power of forgiveness. Without forgiveness, the hurt from a betrayal will never begin to heal, but will actually get worse. The key to overcoming betrayal is forgiveness. Like with Jesus, after a betrayal happens and the damage is done. Judas' act of turning on Jesus led to Jesus' death on the cross. The damage was done. However, Jesus' death sentence was already preordained by the Father in heaven. Jesus already knew he was going to be raised from the dead after his betrayal. He tells his disciples before he was ever crucified what was going to happen. Matthew chapter 16 verse 21 says, from then on, Jesus began to tell his disciples plainly that it was necessary for him to go to Jerusalem and that he would suffer many terrible things at the hands of the elders, the leading priests, and the teachers of religious law. <clears throat> he would be killed, but on the third day, he would be raised from the dead. The way Jesus did not allow the betrayal to devastate him is he already knew the end from the beginning. Jesus knew Judas was a traitor. He also knew that he was going to be raised from the dead and live on for eternity. In the same way, God has given us his spirit to help us move forward after the devastating loss of a relationship. Betrayal can lead to a permanent loss of friendship or even end a marriage. With betrayal, the damage is done. However, the betrayal is not the end. The betrayal can mark the day for a new beginning. God already knew what was going to happen. God already knew Judas was going to betray Jesus. God already knows who is going to betray who in this world. The good news is, God has given us the strength to move forward. He has given us the ability to forgive, so we don't have to carry around wounds that make the soul bitter. We can walk in freedom and wholeness once again. We can overcome betrayal and go to new levels of victory. God has new relationships He wants to foster in our lives. God desires for you to rise above the heartache and experience new freedom and joy like never before. Well, I just want to pray over you really quick that you would get this message deep into your spirit about overcoming betrayal. So wherever you are, if you want to just bow your head, close your eyes, and listen along as I pray over this message. Father God, thank you so much for everyone who is listening and watching along today. I pray for anyone going through heartache or loss. Bring the comfort of your Holy Spirit into their lives. Surround us with the presence of your great love. Help us to forgive others as you have so graciously forgiven us. Betray betrayal did not stop you, Jesus, from fulfilling your divine destiny. And betrayal is not going to stop us from fulfilling our divine calling either. Thank you, Lord, for helping us overcome betrayal. Thank you for enabling us to help others who are going through a divorce, a failed relationship, or an unfair situation. We praise you for being the restorer in each of our lives. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. I want to tell you the first step to experiencing more of God's goodness and love in your life is by first accepting Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior. Jesus tells us in John 14, 6 that He is the way, the truth, and the life. No one can come to the Father except through Him. Jesus came to the earth some 2,000 years ago and He died on the cross for the sins of the world. He did this so that anyone who comes to Him can be forgiven of all their sins, past present, and future. He died on the cross and rose from the grave so that we wouldn't have to spend eternity in hell, but we could be with God in heaven forever for eternity after this life. So if you have never received the free gift of Christ's eternal salvation, would you just say this prayer with me and invite Jesus 
to come into your heart and be Lord of your life. Wherever you are, if you want to just bow your head, close your eyes, and repeat after me this prayer. Lord Jesus, thank you for coming to die on the cross for my sins. I repent of my sins. Come into my heart. I make you my Lord and Savior. Amen. If you just said that prayer, the Bible says that you've been spiritually born again and that your name is written in the Lamb's Book of Life in heaven. So welcome to the family of God. And the next step in your faith journey is to get involved in a good Bible-based church and Christian community so you can learn more about God and be encouraged by what it, by other people in your faith. Also, be water baptized as a public profession of your faith in Christ and read the Bible every day. The Bible is the Word of God. Reading the Bible is how we learn more about God and what He says, and it helps us to grow stronger in our faith. Also, pray every day. Prayer is simply talking to God like you would your very best friend. You can talk to God anytime, day or night. He is always available to you. And scriptures say to cast your cares upon the Lord because He loves you, He cares for you, and He wants to be involved in every single aspect of your life. So read your Bible, pray every day, and make sure to tell someone you know that you gave your life to Christ. You can tell a friend, a family member, someone at work or school, or a pastor or preacher. Tell someone you know that is a Christian that you gave your life to Christ so that they can encourage you in your faith. We also have a website with a lot of great resources that can help you out as well. And the website is just my name, McCabeMarshall.com. On McCabeMarshall.com, you can watch other Word of the Week videos just like this one. If you will click on that Word of the Week tab on the left, you can scroll through over 250 different Word of the Week videos that we have done in the past. These videos are great teaching videos that you can watch, re-watch, and share. You can watch them with a spouse, a friend, a co-worker, or a loved one. Also, I am a writer, and here at MLM Publishing, we mail out seasonal newsletters every three months to readers all over the world. If you aren't on our mailing list, would you click on that newsletters tab on the left, fill out the form there? We would be more than happy to start mailing you a gospel newsletter every three months. I've authored a few books that you can order on the website as well. My latest book is called Why I Stand with Israel. In Why I Stand with Israel, I share seven reasons to support the modern Jewish state of Israel. Another book I wrote is called Finding Your Keys. Finding Your Keys is about discovering the authority you have as a believer. In this book, you will discover 12 different keys, which are spiritual truths that will unlock God's supernatural power in your life as you learn to apply them. Another book I wrote is called Breathe. Breathe is all about God breathing new life into your God-given dreams. At the end of each chapter of Breathe, there are prayers from the scriptures you can pray over yourself and over your loved ones. So it's a great resource for going deeper in your faith. And the very first book I wrote is called Tasting the Goodness of God. Tasting the Goodness of God is a 31-day devotional that will help you learn how to spend time with God every day on a consistent basis. If you don't have why stand with Israel, finding your keys, breathe, or tasting the goodness of God, I encourage you to order those books on McCadeMarshall.com, and I would be more than happy to sign those books and ship them to you. All right, well, in closing, I would like to declare a special blessing over you. I declare you are overcoming betrayal. The heartache and pain of the past is melting away in the presence of the everlasting love of the Father. As God loves your soul back to life, you're experiencing newfound hope in life like never before. Your heart is full of forgiveness. You are set free from the offenses of the past. 
You are free to rise higher and go further than before the betrayal or loss. You are finding a new sense of purpose. You are going to fulfill your divine destiny. With the Lord's help, there is nothing you cannot achieve. In Jesus' name. Well, we love you so much here at MLM Publishing, and we are praying for you every single day. God bless you.